The Suncoast has continued to see business and development growth over the last several months. And our guest host, Candace McCallia, is also our development trends expert. So, Candace, we're going to take advantage of the fact that you're here. <laughs> and we want you to give us all of the deets. So let's start with Whole Foods at University. Tell us what's going on there. Sure. There is so much to talk about, and we're actually not going to focus on downtown Sarasota today. Uh -huh. We're going to talk about lots of things like Whole Foods at University uh, Parkway. It's called University Station. It's going quickly. Mm. It's going very quickly, yes. And you can see landscaping is going in now. Wawa, that's Wawa in the frame on the right-hand side of the screen. Wawa is going in. Wawa um, is hopefully going to open in November. And then Whole Foods, the developer will turn over the shell to Whole Foods probably in the next month or so, and then Whole Foods will come in and work on the interior of the okay. building. Okay. So that takes a few months, so we're expecting maybe first quarter of 2018 will be the opening of Whole Foods. And a lot of people are asking, well, how will the purchase of Whole Foods yeah. by Amazon affect yeah. all of the yeah. openings? Is everything going still? Yes, it really won't affect it at all. So okay. everything is going to be moving ahead. So they have a shipping except, <laughs> Yeah, you might get your delivery, your groceries by drone delivery, <laughs> who knows, yeah. but <laughs> all right, it's well, a good thing. Let's go to uh, South County, the South Sarasota County Courthouse. What is going on over there? Yeah, so this has been something that's been under discussion for a long time, and the um, Sarasota County just selected a contractor, Half Acre Construction, to completely renovate, remodel, basically build a new from the ground up South County Courthouse in Venice. So this is great news for attorneys and um, court deputies that have been looking for a new facility for a long time now. And it's a need. And it's a new building. It'll be a brand new building and still not sure when it, will, when it will break ground, but probably relatively quickly. They just selected the contractor. All right. All right, so Bayside Pets also has some changes yes, coming. Yes, this is an exciting announcement that has not been made anywhere until right here today, but Bayside Pet Resort is opening a brand new facility in Lakewood Ranch, oh, wow. which is very exciting for me because I use their facility all the time, and but I've got to go all the way. It's it? um, doggy daycare, but it's also lodging, okay. and it's a very upscale. I mean, your dog can be, go and lodge in an atrium suite Aww. with a television and, like you that. know, the with really beautiful facilities, pools, outdoor things, and they'll be breaking ground on the new one in Lakewood Ranch actually at the end of this month. Oh, wow. That's great. So Good. really exciting news because there's not, I think there's one other um, upscale pet resort out there, but this will be a really great That's addition for the area. a good place to put their dogs. Yes. yes. A lot of dogs yeah. in Lakewood Ranch. Okay. Yes, there are. <laughs> All right. That's and what the mall could be used for. <laughs> oh, a giant yes. pet resort. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and in Venice, there may be a transformation coming for their Main Street area? Also in Venice, yes, this is great. This is the Pinkerton Wealth Management. Um about a month ago and Pinkerton Wealth Management is a division of Wells Fargo and it really will ch uh, change the face of Venice and Main Street area. It's going to be a beautiful two-story 10,000 square foot building um, that will have offices on the downstairs and upstairs and will really change the face of Main Street but it'll be modern building but really will pay homage to the old um, architecture of Venice and it'll be a beautiful beautiful building. And I love that we're yes. seeing development in downtown Venice. I yes. mean, it's so established but it's still vibrant and changing That's and growing. Good. It is. It, it's it good. Keeps activity going on. Mm -hmm. Another one is the Polo Club. Yeah, so Schrader Manatee Ranch just announced recently that they have um, they are working to sell the Polo Club, which is as you know off of University Parkway mm -hmm. out east. And it's really um, was surprising to a lot of people. They are, they've sold the ancient um, gun club. They ha are talking about selling the sports campus. And now they have just announced that they're under contract to sell the polo club. So they've wow. sold it to a developer from Miami who actually has a lot of ties to the polo club. So many people think this will be good news for the club and will really take it to the next level. But there are some questions about what will he do with the club and how will, will it, it be polo. I guess yes. everyone will just have to cross their fingers and hope. Yes, because oh that's a great asset for Lakewood Ranch. We love the polo club. Well, I'm happy you're here because we just got all of the information we needed to know about developments in the area. So thank you so much, Candace. Absolutely. And next, Evo Athletics celebrates a big honor. We'll be right back.